Including my wife. Where did that echo come from? Advertising is always demanding that you change. You know the Undertaker ad? Drive careful. We can wait. This is all good news, naturally, and is advertising. Now, if you're going to sell good news, you have to have an awful lot of bad news to make it go over. Hence, newspapers. Now, I don't have to stand here and tell you that this will not be printed in the local press. The, news, the reason that people like to read bad news, Swift said, we all bear the misfortunes of our fellows with Christian force. But the reason that people like to read bad news and the reason there has to be so much of it is it creates that greatest of all thrills, survivor emotion. There but for the grace of God went. I'm still here. He didn't make it. Hooray. So bad news, it gives people a tremendous thrill of having come through a very difficult situation. Dramatically, this is one of the great excitements, and that is why many older people read the obituary column as younger people might read the Ann Landers column. Um, when people talk about McLuhan as the enemy of this or that, a menace to communication, when people say that they can't understand me, the communicator can't communicate, have these people ever considered whether they ever communicated with anybody in their entire lives? Communication is a very rare event in any human life, and it, for most people it is a fatal shock. When people say McLuhan is the enemy of print, they seem to forget that he has spent the last 35 years of his life in minute analysis of the printed page and in the minute teaching of kids how to spell. And, you know, they still want to take something for granted. That is a very familiar spelling slip. But I have a statistic that will reassure all those who are live in a state of anxiety about the future of print or the book. In the first place, let me say that the book will survive because of scripture. It did so in the Middle Ages, Dark Ages, in the Middle Ages. It had no commercial value, but it throve thanks to scriptural study. And in the next thousand years, the book will thrive not because of electricity, but because of scriptural study. There's another a statistic from a slightly different quarter, namely that the American booze bill is $25,000 million per annum. Now, only highly literate people can drink that much booze. Did you? Did you know that for Indians, Muslims, and other non-literates, that even a small bit of booze will drive them crazy? It takes an awful lot of visual development and visual culture created by the phonetic alphabet to make people immune to that much booze. So there is hope, and I wanted to end my talk on a strong note of optimism. So. When people say Mr. McLuhan and all the kids in Whitwood Park confess to me with this remark, what are you, Mr. McLuhan, what are you doing? I have now a very simple phrase, I'm thinking of nothing, to which they reply, you egotist. Thank you.